Welcome to Colores. I'm here with Levi Romero, the inaugural poet laureate of New Mexico. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Devin. Thank you for having me. I wanted to ask you right away, um, what motivated you or what's happening right now that motivated you to be part of the Burke Poetas reading Burke? It felt to us like a, it was a real sense of community, the kind of community that we hadn't had since COVID started. And it was so nurturing and we realized how much we need that community, that community of writers, that community of poets, and of course the audience that we have, you know, and uh, it was just as nurturing for us as the poets as it was hopefully for the audience that we were presenting to. So how does poetry help, uh, help heal you? As the Mexico Poet Laureate, you know, um, to, to be bestowed with that position and that title is uh, very uh, intimidating and a sense of unworthiness, you know, because there are so many wonderful, amazing poets out there. And uh, what do I do with that? How can I help others? And so what I began to do was really to focus not on myself or on my own work, but to really focus on trying to give voice to those other poets and storytellers too. And that is where the healing comes from. And I think that for people who do work like that in their lives, when whether you're a doctor or a nurse or whatever it is that you do, when you um, work for the well-being of others, it's a form of activism, right? A sus, a sus ordenes, you know, para servirles, to serve. That is the ultimate goal, is not to be served, but to serve. You shared this uh, lovely poem about Varelas. What was it like to spend time with poetry, the poetry of Albuquerque? There's a saying that we have in Spanish, cada cabeza es un mundo. Every mind is a separate world, and that's what we did. It was presented all these different Burke worlds, and um, me being from northern New Mexico, but living in Varelas in the early 80s, at a time when Barelas, you know, was not the, the fourth street that we see now before it's, uh, you know, uh, before it got renovated and it's beautification and all that with street lights and, and the building facades being redone. I mean, I was there when everything was boarded up and it had just become a memory of its past self. And, but it became my, it became my, my, my first home away from home, this being my, my original home. And Barrelas was always special for me. So it was nice to see how other poets brought in their own sense of Burke as a form of querencia, the place that nurtures you, where you feel safe, where you belong, uh, the place that is your home. And how does that differ for you from, from where you're from, Dixon, the north to, to Albuquerque, which has got this metropolis, very quickly changing feel to it? Well, Albuquerque's become my second home, of course, and I love it as a second home, but I always carry my first home with me. Um, and the way that I take in the world, my worldview and my perspectives were all born here. And so that's what I carry with me. Uh, Gloria Ansaldúa said that uh, language is my home. And the language that I grew up speaking, the language of this world, it's different than the language of other worlds, but that's my internal language. And that's what I carry with me no matter where I go. Uh, metaphorically, but also literally, uh, the language that I grew up speaking, the words, uh, the colloquialisms, the vernacular, um, the dialect, the the calor, the pachuquisms, the vato loco perspective, which Anaya always talked about, the locura, right? The duende that resides inside. And especially as an artist, it is that that uh, that inspiration that comes to you. And uh, it's a spirit, really. It's a spiritual experience that you're having with a duende. And the duende is very elusive. Mm -hmm. And the duende is kind of like one of those things where you kind of see it from the corner of your eye. You feel it from the corner of your heart. But when you look, it'll disappear. Mm -hmm. So you have to know how to make room for the duende in your heart without looking directly into its eyes. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time. Goodbye.
I love talking to you. I could talk to you all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Me too. Likewise. Bendiciones. <laughs>